Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Avgo Lemono Soup. That's right, it was Socrates who said, wisdom begins in wonder. And if you're wondering what that has to do with this video, nothing. But Socrates was Greek, and so is this amazingly delicious lemony chicken rice soup. All right, so let me show you how to put this together. And for step one, we're gonna need some chicken broth. So in my stock pot, I have one big chicken, to which we'll add the traditional onions, carrots, and celery, along with a couple bay leaves, and a little pinch of dry oregano, and that's it. And we'll go ahead and we'll fill that up with cold water. And by the way, I usually like to use about a three pound chicken, and this was like a giant four and a half pound chicken. So I couldn't quite fit the three quarts of water I want you to put in here. But as usual, I'll give you all the accurate amounts on the blog post. And then you know the drill, put it on high heat till it comes to a boil, after which we'll reduce our heat to maintain a nice steady simmer. And like I said, as you can see here, my chicken was way too big. So it is kind of breaking the surface here, but that's not gonna matter. That meat will cook through no problem. And like making any stock or broth, you'll want to skim any of that scummy foam that comes to the top. And then like I said, we're going to simmer this gently. You'll want to adjust your heat somewhere between low and medium low. And then we'll cook that from anywhere between one and four hours. And that's going to depend on if you want chicken meat in your soup or not. I do, so I'm going to go with the shorter cooking time here. But we'll get into that in a minute. And while that's happening, we'll move on to an incredibly important step, the diced onions. All right, we want to finely chop up a couple onions. I think we want at least two cups. And what we'll do is we'll place those onions on medium heat with a nice drizzle of olive oil and a big pinch of salt. And we'll want to cook these onions until soft, sweet, and golden. And what we want to end up with is something that looks like this. And if you were to taste a little of this, it would be nice and soft and fairly sweet, which is key here because this is what's going to offset the tartness from the lemon juice. So that's looking good. At that point, you can turn off the heat and reserve until needed. And at this point, we'll go check our chicken. And as I mentioned, the cooking time is going to depend on if you want to use the meat in the soup or not. And one indicator I look for is if I'm able to dislocate the hip joint with my tongs, that tells me I'm ready to proceed. So I cooked mine for about an hour and 15 minutes, basically until it was just cooked through. Now, on the other hand, if you don't want chunks of chicken in your soup, you would cook this for like four hours until it all just completely fell apart and all the flavor from the chicken meat was in the broth. So that is the other method, which again, we'll discuss on the blog. But anyway, at this point, I'm going to remove that meat to a bowl to cool, along with any of the other solids. By the way, one of these strainers called a spider are incredibly useful for this type of operation. So I'm going to remove all the solids from the stock, leaving just the broth. And of course, once that meat cools down, we can shred it or chop it or cube it or dice it and put it into the soup at the end. So our broth is ready, our meat is cooling, and we can move on to final production. And all that means is adjusting our heat to medium low. And we'll also at this point transfer our sauteed onions into the pot along with one of the two things that's gonna slightly thicken this soup, the rice. And not just any rice. Ideally, you're gonna use arborio rice, which is the same rice used for risotto. And only because a thousand people will ask, yes, you can use any rice you want. They just don't work quite as well in my opinion, but that's gonna be your problem. So we'll go ahead and we'll stir that in. And we wanna let that cook stirring occasionally for about 30 to 45 minutes or until it's very, very, very soft and tender. I'm also at this point gonna add a couple teaspoons of salt Remember, we didn't add any to our original broth, so I think we're gonna need at least that much here, but obviously we're gonna taste and adjust before we serve it. So we'll add some salt, and like I said, we'll let that simmer until very soft. And while we're waiting for that, we might as well go ahead and squeeze our fresh lemon juice. And we're gonna need a lot of it. So I'm gonna squeeze a half cup of fresh lemon juice. If you're not gonna use fresh lemon juice for this, don't even bother making the recipe. And if you can, when you're doing yours, try to do it so some of the juice actually goes into the cup. So half cup of fresh lemon juice, and at this point, we'll go back over and check our rice, which for me at this point was simmering for about 40 minutes. Okay, personally, I like to go until those grains of rice are kind of falling apart. And as you can see, the starch from the rice is gonna kind of thicken that broth slightly. And I should mention, if you do want it a little starchier, you can actually blitz this with your immersion blender for a minute and kind of puree some of that rice into the soup. Or, which I like, you can kind of smash some of the grains against the bottom with your ladle or a spoon or a potato masher or something like that. But anyway, like I said, we're gonna cook our rice until very soft. And once our rice is set, we can move on to the final step, the Avgo Lemono. So Avgo Lemono basically means egg and lemon sauce, which at some point in history got turned into a soup. So in a bowl, I have two large eggs, which we'll beat up with a little black pepper and cayenne. And why are those yolks so orange? Is this a special variety? No, it was just bad lighting. So we'll beat those eggs up, at which point we will whisk in our lemon juice. And then what we'll do is we'll take this mixture and whisk it into our hot soup, but not yet. We have to temper the eggs. And all that means is slowly whisking in a couple cups of our hot soup mixture into this bowl so that everything warms up before we add it to the soup pot. So we'll stir in one cup. Once that's in, we'll go ahead and stir in another. 
And if you feel the side of the bowl, it should be very hot at this point. And once that's been done, then we can safely whisk this into our soup and there'll be no danger of those eggs scrambling. Okay, we're not trying to make egg drop soup here. And once our eggs and lemon are stirred in, we will add our reserved chicken meat if desired. I just cube mine up. And by the way, that's not all of it. I saved about a third of the meat for chicken salad. That's not a bad idea. So we'll stir in our chicken meat, and then all we need to do to finish this soup off is cook it over your lowest heat setting for about five minutes until the chicken's heated through. And that's it. Now, of course, before you serve this, you gotta give it a taste. Does it need more salt? Does it need more lemon? Believe it or not, mine was perfect, so I didn't have to adjust, but you may, so check it out. But anyway, once your soup is exactly how you want it, we will go ahead and ladle that up into some hot bowls. And then if you want, and I do, because I have a food blog, we can garnish with a pinch of parsley, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of freshly grated lemon zest, mostly so people don't think they're eating corn chowder, and that Avgo lemon soup is done. And while it may not be the most stunning soup visually, this thing is like in the top five most delicious soups in the world. The combination of that beautiful fresh chicken broth with the tartness of the lemon and the savoriness from the eggs. Just a fantastic combination. And by the way, people that send me the emails, wanting something delicious you could serve to a large group that's not really expensive, this is it. A few dollars worth of ingredients here go a long way. In fact, I made a big old pot of this for my last World Cup viewing party. Of course, I had to change the name to Avgo Lemono Soup, which people seem to enjoy, although they did tell me to please stop doing that. But anyway, that's it. And since we started this video with a quote from Socrates, let's finish with one. He also said, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing, which if you think about it, is a terrifying thought, which is why the world needs comfort foods like this amazing soup. So I really do hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.